Hogwarts Legacy is out of control this morning. They posted three back-to-back -back tweets, mind you, while I was asleep, <laughs> about our headmaster in-game. Let's take a look at Phineas Nigellus Black. The first tweet announced our voice actor for Headmaster Black. We have Simon Pegg. You might recognize him as a notable actor and seeing the voice of Headmaster Black side by side with this beautiful card of someone who we're gonna get a little bit more details about. Because the second tweet says, don't be deceived by his surgically manicured beard. We have a professor card for Headmaster Black. You see him looking up into the distance, kind of like those cheesy photos of CEOs and whoever, visionaries, people who proclaim they're a visionary, you know? Uh, we also have a Slytherin house icon. Uh, he is looking quite dapper. And yes, you can see that surgically manicured beard. Phineas Nigellus Black, who to this day remains the least popular headmaster Hogwarts has ever known, makes little effort to hide the utter disdain he has for his students. He is a cantankerous, lazy, and vain pure blood with a myopic view of the world and a condescending and unjustifiably superior attitude. Fun! Wildly ill-suited to his job, his goal is to do the least amount of work possible and avoid exposure to the student body, preferring to focus on his status in the wizarding world and his surgically manicured beard. Yeah, so I do not like him. I know Lynette doesn't like him, and my character is definitely not gonna like him. This guy seems like he's gonna get in the way. But wait, there's more. The final tweet in this series is a video with the voice actor talking about his character. Join Simon Pegg as he dives deeper into the world of Hogwarts Legacy and shares what it was like portraying head Master Phineas Nigellus Black. I'm ready to break this down, let's go. Hello, I'm Simon Pegg and I'm playing Phineas Nigellus Black. Who are you? Phineas Black is, at this point in the story, he's the headmaster of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Ooh, this is a nice view of the Great Hall. Let's kind of go back and see what we can find in the frames. Why does it look like everyone's sitting miles apart from each other? On the far left, we have Professor Sharp who teaches potions. Then moving on, we have Professor Hecate looking all cute. She's our professor for the Defense Against the Dark Arts class. Then we have the flying instructor, yet to have a name. The, then we have two empty seats. One appears to be to the right of a golden throne, which I imagine is for Headmaster Black. Uh, so I think the one on the right is for the deputy headmistress. Um, you can see her kind of by our character and we see the scene in the state of play where she puts the hat on us. This is Professor Weasley. Then we have Professor Ronan and Professor Garlic. And then it looks like there's an empty chair. Am I just seeing though? That looks like an empty chair, right? Who? Wait, who goes in that? Is that Fig? Is that Fig's chair? It might be Fig's chair. Wait, but then there's two more empty chairs on this side. And then we have our librarian. So who is missing? Where are you? Was it on purpose? Why do we need to fill these teachers spots? Oh, look at the stool. It has like a star on it. Just, oh my gosh, everything about it. You can see the grain in the wood. It's just beautiful. And just the way that Headmaster Black carries himself, like you can see the confidence just coming out of him. And he just has this kind of like, I'm better than you attitude. Phineas Nigellus Black is the least popular headmaster <laughs> in the history of I Hogwarts. wonder why. You are here to focus on your academic futures. Also, a couple new Slytherin characters for us to look at and speculate about. Who are these people? And Sebastian's just like, uh, no, I mean, it doesn't look like admiration. It looks kind of like, eh. He is a sort of pompous, disinterested, you call that a shine on those boots? <laughs> Do better. Aww. He's not a good teacher or, or no, headmaster like in any way. Good. I think he would have taken on the role of headmaster because of the gig. You know, it's a prestigious position. 
I don't think he has any interest in children's education or, or being in any way a role model. It's not really his concern. What he wants is the kudos of being the headmaster of the greatest wizarding school in the world. You know, it's not like it's important to care about children's education when you run a school. Also, I love this shot. When, so when he dismisses them, then we see people that are getting up and some people we've seen in previous trailers as well. This looks like Nellie who is walking closest to the camera. We see behind her is that Gryffindor kid who I keep calling a Weasley best friend even though we, there's no confirmation that he's a Weasley. He just has red hair. And then we have the kid that everyone keeps calling Henry Potter, the Ravenclaw, the glasses. I mean, come on. But actually, this is Everett Clopton, who is voiced by Luke Youngblood, aka Lee Jordan. And then we have another Ravenclaw student. Who are you? Are you my companion? Part two? <laughs> Amit is the companion, okay? Amit is our Ravenclaw companion, whether we like it or not. I think that he's gonna be very interesting but that's not to say that we won't interact with more characters in the Hogwarts houses. Oh, and behind Nellie, there's Natsai. I wonder almost daily why I accepted this appointment from the Ministry. Oh my gosh. I, oh man, I'm gonna be talking back at him. We come across Phineas as a sort of help and a hindrance to the players who are working their way through the game. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. Okay, we've seen this shot before in the state of play because it's the cute little fireplace with the demiguise that's holding the orb. And I'm like, ooh, this is interesting. Why is there a demiguise here? There are tons of books everywhere. I see a little flying contraption that looks like a dragon or it has like dragony wings, but it also has wheels. We have a portrait that's like tucked away. What? kind of class do we think Fig teaches? Because there's also just like herbs hanging from the ceiling and just everywhere. So, I mean, those could just be part of his office. Like he has things that he likes. Uh, so, but the books, the stuffs, you know, messy and probably, he probably knows exactly where each book is. Like the disorganized, organized mind. I feel like something, like, uh, Ancient runes would be great because then that could lead us on our adventures of looking for ancient magic and his own research and maybe they kind of interact and he's coming along because he wants to do further research. And because there's a scroll, it makes me feel like it's something that's not muggle studies, but I could be wrong. I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None, none at all, move aside. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be a ride talking to him and overhearing him talking to students. The lessons I think the students and players will get from Phineas Nigellus Black is don't be like Phineas Nigellus Black. There she is, Professor Weasley. Oh, look at that outfit she's wearing. This is not the outfit from the sorting ceremony, but it feels like it's that same scene, like maybe after sorting and after everyone has left. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Ooh, hold on. Okay, we clearly see the stained glass and what it says. To every magic now master. I'm sorry, what? That is different than what we saw in previous shots where it. I was thinking it was about ancient magic or, you know, learning true magic. And I, whoa. I'm extremely excited to be part of the Harry Potter universe. I watched all those movies and uh, always expected a role. Virtually every British actor, actor has been in the Wizarding World films, apart from me. Wait, is that true? So to get <laughs> the role, of, particularly true. the Black, one of the Black family, that's, uh, that's a cool thing because Sirius was always my favorite character in the books. So it feels really good. It feels like something's finally been put right. Oh, it's so great. I hope they do more of these with the voice actors because, I mean, honestly, I already said this before. I just want a full-blown documentary for Hogwarts Legacy. Just, I, I will listen to all of the content because I find this so interesting. I love when people who are professional in their craft 
talk about their craft and how they approach it and what sorts of things they think about. And it's just very lovely. Speaking of voice actors, the second thing I wanted to show off today besides Headmaster Black was a piece that listed a bunch of voice actors and character names for Hogwarts Legacy. So this appears to be a press release by WB Games. And of course we have Simon Pegg as Phineas Nigelis Black, the headmaster. Um, but even going through it, we see that our fifth year student, the main character, the avatar, the chosen one, whatever you wanna call us, is being voiced by Sebastian Croft and Amelia Gething for the two voice options. So remember, we can have more of a masculine sounding voice or a feminine sounding voice. These are the two voice actors that make those voices. We also have Leslie Nickel is Professor Matilda Weasley. We have a name. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm gonna love her. A Gryffindor, she is the deputy headmistress of Hogwarts who aids the player in catching up with the other students by giving them the wizard's field guide and showing them the room of requirement. Candace Kane plays Professor Onai, who was once a divination teacher at Wagadu, which we talked a little bit about Wagadu when Nat Size card came out. It's the largest wizarding world school and she is a gifted seer whose faith in her sight was shaken by the fact that she did not foresee the loss of her husband. Are you kidding me? No! <laughs> Grief. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. I love it. I love it because... You have depth to characters, it's gonna be great. Deciding to leave those painful memories behind, she accepts an invitation by Professor Weasley to teach divination at Hogwarts. So, you know what? Professor Weasley is probably actually running the school. Professor Black probably just gets all the credit with the title, and you know the Weasley is taking care of everything behind the scenes because she's a badass. The professor of astronomy, Professor Satya Bhatti Shah, is voiced by Sam Kapila. Raised in the muggle world, Professor Shah is devoted to the sciences and tends to talk down to her students in winding and pretentious aphorisms. Aww, we also have Luke Youngblood, who played Lee Jordan in the films, voicing Everett Clopton, a Ravenclaw and a half-blood underachieving rule breaker and prankster. Oh my gosh, seeing that in Ravenclaw is gonna be so fun. Asif Ali voices another Ravenclaw student, Mahendra Pelwan, a muggle-born and an avid rule keeper whose aggressive adherence to rules and guidelines even the professor have grown a bit weary of. Oh boy, you can't just be lawful all the time. Jason Anthony voices both Nearly Headless Nick and The Sorting Hat. We know Nearly Headless Nick, well apparently, he may be the key to helping the Gryffindor player find answers crucial to solving a significant mystery. So do you have to be a Gryffindor? Can I talk to him even if I'm a Ravenclaw? <laughs> if they are willing to do him one small favor involving a bit of rotten roast beef, that's probably the scene we see in the state of play. And finally, the iconic sorting hat, a sentient magical hat, uses knowledge from the student's past along with input from the player to determine which Hogwarts house will be the right fit. Oh my gosh, we are less than a month away from the global launch of Hogwarts Legacy and we are getting these little teasers that makes me more excited about meeting all the characters, the professors, the students, the baddies, everyone, and our journey that we are about to embark on in this game. Let me know in the comments down below if there was anything that I missed in that short interview with the voice actor Simon Pegg as Phineas Nigelis Black, or if there are any other things that you're wondering about with our professors. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, Wands ready.